for the side that's facing the camera. Unfortunately, you will be hearing cars passing by, you will be hearing honking, you will be hearing speeding cars, you will be hearing music, you will be hearing people and the top of their voices screaming, talking like a normal thing. Exhibit A, the first car. And you will be hearing all this because that's just where I live. I live on a very busy street and people have cars and they drive and they do that a lot on my block. But I do insist that you stick around though, but just to give a disclaimer so that you're aware, you're not wondering what this noise is. Thank you. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Wallace, aka I Am Evolve, and thank you for tuning into another one of my videos. If this is your first time seeing me, Again, my name is Tiffany Wallace, aka I Am Evolve, but if this is not your first time and you have been faithfully, faithfully watching me, then I'd like to thank you. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you're aware of when I do put new content up. And without further ado, let's start the video. So I realized that to read the Bible, you have to read it with understanding you have to read it with critical thinking you have to read it with the holy spirit but you also also you have to read it as face value and you have to understand that that, that there are certain words that connotates an entire sentence just in that word and i was reading through first thessalonians 5 and there was one specific word that jumped out at me and it was day yes day day jumped out at me and if you want to go forward to read this it was specifically in verse 8 and i remember thinking about the word day other translations may take it to be light day but it represents something of light because day does represent night and if you go throughout the Bible, you see the word light referred to many times, especially in the Gospels. Jesus himself referred to himself as the light of the world. So it wasn't strange that they were talking about this in 1 Thessalonians 5. But the context behind it, however, was very interesting to me. The first part of the verse says, but since we belong to the day, let us then be sober so i went along and i looked up the definition for the word light because that's really what they were referring to light and light brings illumination and i looked up the word of what illumination is and illumination means it has different meanings but this specific one says a full scope of our limitations so light brings illumination which is about us sometimes it brings a certain knowledge about something that we didn't know before in a nutshell basically and applying that same word to jesus because he calls himself the light of the world he also embodies what this means because he brought to us salvation even though salvation wasn't something that was unknown of it was wrongly interpreted and it wasn't it wasn't in the full essence of what it was actually supposed to be. So in a practical sense, light brings awareness to something that wasn't known before. And that's what Jesus did. And if we who are called and saved and have come into relationship with Jesus, with God, then we too now have this essence or understanding of light and of day because we are now being made aware and we are made aware of something that wasn't known before. Be that salvation and Christ and then how to apply it to live in this world. That's what I think the word in this verse is talking about. That since we belong to the day, since we have an understanding of something that we didn't know before, since we know Jesus, since we're walking with him, since we, we have been saved by him, let us then walk in a manner that reflects the light 
and it's not to say that you know everything or you will know everything but i believe that the more that you grow in understanding of christ and of the word and through the holy spirit that he will help you key 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 part the holy spirit because we cannot do it by ourselves but the more that we grow in knowledge of god and in his word then he will help us in how to be this light that we're called so to. likewise we can conclude the very same thing to what the text refers to as night night in a practical sense represents darkness and in a spiritual sense night represents a lack of understanding towards god and the ways of god a lack of understanding to salvation and ultimately a lack of knowing of how to get peace while living through this world how to get true peace that lasts and you see this all throughout the bible that there are always two options presented before you there's the option of light and there's the option of day there's the option of wrong there's the option of right there's the option of blessing and there's the option of curse there's always two sides <laughs> which the Bi the bible makes a good stance on presenting both to a person but telling them to choose light but the thing is you can't choose light and choose a complete happiness and joy and everything that comes with it without first going to Christ because he's the beginning of all of it. either way you look at it to choose Christ or to not choose Christ it both starts with him in both scenarios you either have a knowledge of God or you don't have a knowledge of God but it really he's really the focal point in all of it but there's different benefits and there's different promises that comes with each choice whether to choose or not to choose I don't say this all to burden or to make you feel as if you're doomed if you make a mistake or if you fall or if you don't get something right because honestly that's just a part of the process like it's going to happen but the thing about god is that he honors our efforts and her, our trying in getting it right with him and trying to follow him in surrendering to him he honors the small efforts that we make so don't be discouraged and feel as if you are in the light but sometimes you may have some dark tendencies repentance and then going back to him he will never forsake us or throw us out of his presence but he'll always work with us and that's also a benefit of having christ the light in our lives then we too as messy and as dark as we may feel on the inside we become lights just like him we are called to be light a city on a hill that cannot be hidden so it's already in us and he will continue to perfect what he has started in us so i hope this brings a level of encouragement and also an understanding because i know and i've said it before the bible can be easy but at the same time not so easy to understand but thank god for the holy spirit <laughs> thank you for tuning into this video i hope you were encouraged and i hope you learned something i think more than be encouraging i really liked for people to learn something from what i say and i hope this did that um if you are interested i will put the verse or the text of where i got all this from so that you can go forward and read it and stuff if this is your first time seeing one of my videos then welcome and thank you for stopping by i hope you stick around subscribe share like comment on this video and until next time i will see you again